Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for December. This is the second reading for December so I will tag the other one on to the end. This was for at any time during December, okay? Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. But this is not a private reading so it may not be for you. I also have to state that if you're in a happily ever after relationship then this reading is not for you. This reading is going to be focused on love for people that are struggling and need a message to help them in some way. What does Libra need to know? December. some crow now this could um, be a breakup see there could be a breakup on the horizon or there just could be some arguing with your partner there's incompatibility for somebody and somebody has to make a decision and they have to choose wisely there's consequences for the decision that you make here one option is feasible. The other ones are not. The other ones are only going to lead to something that isn't really fulfilling. So you have to choose. You have to choose wisely here. You have to make some sort of choice. So you're in the process of making a choice by the looks of things. This is a card of choice as well. Twos are about choices. So it looks like you have to make some sort of decision. Do you want to keep doing this or not? Uh-oh, Wheel of Fortune reverse. Something is holding you back from <clears throat> receiving something better, the good things. You're being held back. It's like you're trying to control destiny. That the, the Wheel of Fortune reverse is trying to control. No shit. Ooh, you may be uh, dealing with a person that's emotionally unavailable to you. You know, they're not opening their heart. And you're, you're like trying to, what? Make it work with somebody who's not invested? Interesting. Yikes, it looks like you're playing games here. You're only bringing more chaos and more disorganization, or disorganization in your life by not accepting a change. By not making the right choice. Remember, twos are about, about choices. Two, two, and this is having a, cups is a choice as well. Somebody's not making the right choice and they're living with some consequences. There's consequences for choosing the wrong option. You're going backwards. Somebody is going backwards, not allowing good things to come into their life because they're trying to control, you know, not using their free will to allow the wheel to spin as it wants to spin. It's like you got that wedge not letting it spin when it needs to spin. You have the power, right? You have the power, but I have to tell you about this magician. I know that a lot of people think that they can manifest the one. You know, I can manifest this name into my life. I can ma manifest this one person, okay? I got this person in mind. I'm going to manifest them, and that's what's happening here. I'm going to manifest this person back. I'm going to put all my resources, all my thoughts, all my prayers into this one person. I'm not going to surrender to God. I'm going to, this is the name. This is the person that I want. I'm not going to surrender. And if you don't surrender, you want to cling to control. Well, then you're, there's consequences for that decision. It's an illusion. Anyway, you have the power to, it, to make a change. You have the power to make a different choice that would bring success to your life. But you have to find the, the tools within you to shed because the magician sheds. He sheds what doesn't serve him to bring success. So somebody that is watching this needs to shed something that they are holding on to. Trying to control destiny when in fact, as above, so below. Yeah. 
The universe has a plan. And you, you know, it's up to you whether you choose to surrender to the universe or you try to hinder that plan. <laughs> this is the Queen of Wands. This is about vision. It's, this is about creating and creating a new vision. Finding strength and confidence to, to start a new adventure. She's very adventurous. She starts new things all the time, all the time. If you are a Libra male, this could be somebody that you're dealing with, an uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If you are the Libra female, this is you needing to find your confidence, your self-esteem, and, and your self-worth, and create a new vision for a brighter, because this is the Ace of Wands, a brighter future. You have the power to create a brighter future. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But you have to take action. You have to take action. You can't manifest something that isn't, I mean, you can. You can manifest that something isn't good for you, but it won't last. Somebody is trying to manifest some sort of illusion into their life when in fact there's another plan that's being hindered. Be, but whatever. Yeah. It's like, oh my God, two, 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 all reverse. You're not making the right choice. Two, two, two. Now twos is about it's 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 a decision that needs to be made. Twos are about decisions, choices, and change. It's a this a, 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 twos are also about partnership. There's a partnership here that has gone south. They're all reversed. It's it's not compatible in any way, shape, or form. Okay, it's not with all these twos reversed. There's like a lack of compatibility here. And somebody is needing to focus on the future but refusing to do so. Therefore, there's, there's some consequences for that. You know, things are chaotic. Things are disorganized. Things are unbalanced. Things are unhappy. Uh, there's restlessness. There's resent. The, the whole nine yards. And you have to accept the conflict. You know, you have to realize that... <clears throat> When something isn't working for you, you have to look in a different direction. It's like... You need to set some boundaries. You need to set some boundaries for yourself, but you're, you're, you're la not... You have to accept the truth of a situation and it's like you don't want to. There's some anger here too. It's like I'm angry, resentful. This is a card of resent in reversed as well. There's some resent here. You're throwing away a passionate new opportunity by making the wrong choice. There's no growth with whatever it is that you're angry about that's made you upset. There's no growth there. Somebody's caused you to get angry oh, and that's caused the chaos and the disorganization because you're so frustrated with this situation. You need to create that new vision. You need to head in a new direction. You need to allow the universe to guide you as it's trying to instead of trying to control it. Trying to control the plan is causing frustration, anger, bitterness, and resent. When in fact, this partnership, there's no more growth. There's no more passion. There's no more spark. It's unrequited love. But you have the opportunity with that Ace of Wands in your hand for male or female, there's, a, there's somebody that has an opportunity for something new, but they're hanging on to another person that is emotionally not invested. But you have the opportunity to go down a new path, to start over, to, you know...
find a new flame. But you have to take that action. You have to shed and take that action to bring success. You have to take that power. So... It looks to me like with these twos, there's a lack of um, making the right choice. Somebody is not making the right decision. And they're living with the consequences. Because you haven't made the right decision, you're not getting the outcome that you wanted. It's causing frustration. And that frustration is causing chaos and disorganization and bad luck. And because the Wheel of Fortune is reversed, is when you're frustrated and you're upset, shit rolls downhill. It does. Everything falls apart. But you do have, you have the resources within you to create this new vision. You do. But the power is in your hands. You have to do it. Free will plays a part. This is a card of destiny and free will. It's reversed. You, you are hindering a new passionate beginning by not shedding something that needs to go. A partnership that needs to be shed. It needs to be like the skin needs to be shed and left. Goodbye. You know, that snake skin shedded, shed. Because it was a one-sided situation. You're not getting what you deserve hanging on to something that is was only one-sided. Whoever it is that you're hanging on to, is it giving? They're not reciprocating. And you need to stop crying over that loss. You need to stop hanging on to that and realize that you have a better opportunity. You do have a better opportunity. But you, you need to realize that. And you may be beginning to realize that. You may be at the beginning stages of beginning to realize, you know what? There's got to be something more than this. You're getting it's to the point where it's overwhelmingly heavy and this baggage needs to be dropped. Something needs to be dropped. It needs to be complete. I think you are on the verge of dropping something for good. But you've been restraining yourself because it feels like you think that something is part of the script that really isn't part of the script. It's like you think that you know, but you don't really know. You know what I mean? It's like, I think this is it. You know, you've been restraining yourself. You've been... holding yourself back from success really you have but you have been going through some sort of awakening so that's a good thing we have we have an awakening here so you are you are waking up from something and you are becoming you know if you're the female you're becoming the empress if you are the libra male you have somebody a female that is the empress around Okay, this empress does represent Libra, but it's, it's absolutely a female. It is the, the emperor is a male and the empress is a female. So we have somebody that is about to give birth to a new life. After restraining themselves for so long, holding back. Not letting the wheel spin, not letting anything good come into their life. It looks like somebody is about to go down a new path by the looks of things. Drop something. Accept a new offer. So for male or female, you guys may be getting ready to accept a new offer, but there's one step before you can accept that offer. Dropping the baggage from the past literally dropping it leaving it there and moving forward without it because we have a, a we have a we have a new life here we do because this is she gives birth to a new life and this is a new vision it's a new opportunity this is a new opportunity new partnership so you have an opportunity for somebody new here could be uh, another libra could be a taurus could be aries leo sagittarius could be a Gemini. It looks as though there's one partnership that ha is not the right choice that you've hung on to for quite some time. 
and now you're in the process of making, you have a decision to make, are you ready to move on? You're presented with this new opportunity or you see a new opportunity or somebody's interested in you and you have the opportunity to take it but you're confused as to whether you should take it or not and you're restraining yourself from taking it because you're so frustrated over the past. You're not sure that you want to give up on the past. Well, I'm telling you right now that the past is dead. And you have an opportunity for a new life, a new beginning. And you're worthy of it. You're worthy of this. You deserve to be pampered. You deserve the finer things in life. You deserve to be loved. But you have to end. You have to release Endings bring new beginnings, and that's what we have here. We have the death of something, the death of the death of something that is leading you down a new path towards something much more exciting, towards something that is more passionate, towards a person or a situation in which you will be cherished and taken care of. But you have to release first. You have to release what is dead. And I know that's hard, but it, that's what needs to happen. It's part of the script. This new, this new life is part of the script. But you have to let something die to get the miracle that you deserve. Somebody else. You have somebody else. And I know a lot of you are stuck on somebody from the past. But this card tells me that you have options. You have two the past and the future. You have to you have a choice here. This new person is not your usual type. This person is somebody that is being brought to you from heaven, being brought to you from above. They're being guided to you from angels. This per, they're bringing you two together at this time to help each other heal. This person, you are not going to have to be ashamed of yourself. You can be yourself. They're going to love the skin that you're in. This person is not your usual type, but it's a divine connection. But you have to drop the baggage from the past because you have a new connection here that is divinely guided, being brought to you. And there's going to be a, a very strong attraction with this new person. And I think that I think that the waiting is over. I think that you know you may not be prepared for this. You may be like you know I'm not I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. I am still clinging to the past. I'm not ready, but it's here. It's here. You have a new opportunity for love, Libra. You have something that is ending with this death card and bringing about a new beginning in which you didn't expect, you may not have thought that this was ever going to happen, that you could ever love again, but this person is so perfect for you that it, I don't think you're going to be able to deny it. You're not going to be able to deny the connection. Okay? You're not. We have an ending here that is bringing you something new, something more compatible than this right here, okay? You've been in a situation that's not compatible. There's no more partnership there. It's like you guys are no longer working together at all. But this person is going to love you. You can be yourself. You don't even have to, you know, you don't have to hide anything from this person. So I feel like we have... Uh, release that is bringing you something uh, more suitable for you so yeah we have we have somebody new coming coming in and making some sort of offer of love and this person is absolutely going to cherish you so make sure that you choose wisely here choose wisely you have a you have a, a new passionate beginning. A new passionate beginning that is leading you down a new path towards real partnership. Partnership with a person that 
You can absolutely positively be yourself with. There's no shame. You don't have to be ashamed of anything with this person. So we have Gemini here. We have Gemini. We have Scorpio. We have Libra, Aquarius. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The only ones we don't have are the Earth signs. So I don't believe it's an Earth sign. So we have a new connection here in which it's like undeniable. But this is also a choice as well. It's up to you. This is, a, this, is, this is a card of consequences and this is a card of consequences. You have two consequences cards. There's consequences for the choices that you make. You have an opportunity for new love here with somebody that you are very much compatible with. But you have to choose to release the past to have this new beginning. The choice is yours. This card flipped over. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. It's a, it's a time of healing. And part of this goes all the way back to childhood. It goes back to abandonment issues. Some people are so used to being abandoned that they hang on to people that abandon them because that's all they know. You are worth love. You are worth being cherished. Forgive. Forgive. All the people that have hurt you, as hard as that is to do. So that you can transition, so that you can release, so that you can receive the new beginning that you deserve. There's a soulmate connection here that is being offered. If you could just make the right decision to release the pain from the past. You have a new beginning here. And there is passion, absolutely, with this new person. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You have somebody that's coming in that is absolutely going to cherish you. Please let the partnership go that didn't that isn't reciprocating. Because you have somebody else in which there's room for growth. Let yourself be free. This person is not your usual type, but they're being brought to you to help you. This person probably has dark hair. I don't know why I don't usually say that, but they're, they're dark haired. I just happen to look at the hair and I don't usually look, do that. Man, woman, doesn't matter. This person has dark hair. So anyway, um, it looks to me as though you are going to be presented with a choice between two, the past and the future. Choose wisely because the consequences are unhappiness, no growth, no passion, no flame, no spark, or passion. That's your choice. Either there's passion or no passion. What's it going to be? The choice is yours. So you have a choice this month. You have somebody that is div being divinely guided to you to help you heal and start a new life. Choose. Choose wisely. Or stay wherever you're at where there's no growth and no passion. It's up to you. It's your choice. It looks to me like you ha are having an opportunity for a major life change with the death card. The choice is yours. Good luck.